How you doing? Welcome back. Thank you for taking the time to check out my video. Uh, hopefully this will be a fairly quick video, but you know, best laid plans and all. Uh, there's two different things I want to cover today. One is uh, some hydroponic lettuce that I grew indoors a couple of weeks ago uh, that I harvested. It was very good, but a little disappointing, so we're going to cover that real quick. And a really, really quick update of the highlights of the garden. Uh, not uh, all of each individual plants, but the ones that uh, are really doing some great things so far. I'm going to start out with the hydroponic lettuce that I started. I started in, in a 24-port uh, cloner. I call it 24-port, but 24-port or 24 uh, uh, seats where small plants can go in and get rooted. Uh, I adapted this to uh, my lettuce uh, experiment. Put it in my small grow tent with uh, you see the the four bulb uh, T5 light, and uh, this this 24 port cloner um, is aeroponic for the most part. It's a, sort of full aeroponic, not really true aeroponic. Um, it worked okay. I had a lot of problems with the spinners getting clogged. It's not used to being run for so long. Usually, it's only a couple of weeks. That, uh, that this cloner is in action, but this was uh, a little over a month. So I did have to clean out the, the spinners quite a bit. I had put a bag on the intake of the pump and that uh, proved to be a problem because uh, that got clogged and didn't have enough pressure to spin the spinners. A couple of times I did almost kill the lettuce uh, because the, the spinners uh, had stopped and boy, once once the uh, the roots quit getting the the nutrient solution, uh, they go down quick. And I had some very flat lettuce. Uh, fortunately, it came back once I cleaned the spinners and got everything going. Um, and I kind of came to the conclusion, although this looks really nice, uh, and it came out really well, it tasted fantastic. Um, but not quite like I've seen some other people in in their lettuce experiments that they've done hydroponically. So most of the people that I've seen lately have been doing the crack key method. Uh, MHP Gardener, uh, I think Means Hughes is doing crack key on his uh, lettuce. Um, lots of people and it seems very simple, very straightforward. The crack key is basically a set it and forget it method. I'll, uh, I'll link to MHP Gardener's video on uh, how we set up his crack key tables. Uh, very simple, very easy to do. So a really quick update on some of the highlights of the garden. Uh, one of the biggest things uh, is we started out before um, the last update video talking about the height of the plants. Well, I really can't uh, do that anymore because I've lowered uh, a lot of these plants and I still need to lower more. Um, so there's probably you know two feet here horizontally that wouldn't count if I just measured up uh, vertically. So I, I need to figure out where to put these plants as they come down further and they have more stems uh, exposed. So we'll start at this end and I'll show you some of the good stuff that's been happening. And uh, I think uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. See you in a sec. So I'll try to hold this camera as steady as I can, but uh, here's our matinas. And uh, they're a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be, but they, uh, they're d doing really nicely. Got lots of clusters and uh, they keep popping out all the way up, so that's a good sign. These are the Moscovich, and uh, they got a lot of them running here at the bottom. Uh, none starting to ripen at all, but uh, looking really good. Not nearly as many uh, toward the top, though. We got a few coming out, but uh, not quite as many as I was hoping for. And here is the Italian heirloom, and looking awful fine. Lots of really nice big uh, tomatoes on here. And uh, down over here, a beautiful, nice big one that is uh, ripe, and that's coming off today. That is going to go uh, probably just eating that plain. Great stuff, but uh, lots of uh, really nice big fruit on this guy. And uh, oop, looking forward to having more of those. This is the stupici, and it is looking really, really good. I'd harvested a couple of the, or actually I harvested just one a couple of weeks ago, and it was just fantastic. I uh, got one here ready to come out probably today and uh, a couple other ones that are on the way. Most of them are still very green, but uh, man, just a whole ton of them here and they just keep on popping out. So 
that's going to be awful nice as uh, as we go into the season. Very pleased with this mountain princess that I had uh, cut off the main stem on. Coming back really nicely. Lots of, uh, well not lots, but a few uh, nice uh, tomatoes coming out there. The other one, uh, quite a few. Quite a nice bunch down here. Uh, doing well. So the other one is not nearly as uh, far along as this one, but you know, I did stunt its growth. This is really the only bunch you can see of the uh, Costaludos, uh, but they are really looking good. There's a whole bunch of them in there, but uh, kind of hard to get back in there. They're uh, kind of hidden away. The Plum Lemon, uh, looking really good. Lots of clusters on this guy, uh, both this one and the other one. There's just a ton and they just keep going. I've dropped them down a couple of times and uh, see up here I really need to drop them down again but uh, boy uh, none ripe yet and I'm kind of disappointed in that but just a ton of uh, little tomatoes on here and of course the Paul Robesons they are really kicking butt I had a couple of a uh, couple of them the other day very tasty uh, harvested 10 so far and it looks like I've got probably uh, Probably another six or seven today that I can pull off of here. They are just looking fantastic. And the eggplant, I've got some marvelous, beautiful looking purple flowers on this. Uh, there's a bunch more, but I, I don't want to move the camera around too much. But yeah, they're, that's looking really good. No, uh, no actual eggplant coming up yet, but the plant itself is really looking fantastic. Really coming along. And a few cayennes coming along really nicely, and let me tell you, those definitely are hot.